everyone, it is Dolly Donuts here, previously known as Monster Tubam, and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started on this video, please make sure you go and follow me on Instagram at Cherry Donuts. I will leave the link down in the description. And also make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. I decided to carry on with the series of Dolly throwback reviews. Last one I did was of the Snowbite Draculaura and in this video we're going to a different brand now and that is the Disney Store's official Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland slash Alice Through the Looking Glass. I really hope that the lighting is okay, I still haven't figured it out yet <laughs> but hopefully one day my lighting will actually be decent but anyway enough of that, let's get on to the doll. And just looking at her from the box, she has so much detail, it is incredible, I cannot wait to get her out of the box. So we're just going to have a quick look at the box, there isn't much going on at the front apart from it does say Alice in Wonderland there, although it, my light kind of just stops you from seeing that, which is annoying. But she is part of the film collection, and then it says Erasabeth, the Red Queen, at the bottom there. And now we're going to take a look at the side, so it's just a load of clocks. And then to the back we have a picture of the Red Queen with a very small head. I'm guessing that this is not an official like movie image, <laughs> if that makes sense. More of like a behind the scenes shot, but I don't know, it just looks really weird. And then below that it just says the film collection and then I think it says it in French as well. And it also has something there just talking about the film collection. So if you want to read that, go ahead. When this doll came out, she retailed for £25.95 in the UK and €35.90 in, well, Europe. Although this doll was released a few years back, so you're not going to be able to find it in your local Disney store anymore. But I actually found this doll on eBay for, I think, I think I won her for £26, which I'm totally happy with because she's new in box and everything. So, yes, let's get her out of the box now. out that bit right now because there's a spider web or something in her dress look at that oh my god oh that's just gross would you look at that please don't tell me there's a spider on her oh my god ew this doll is amazing let me just show you this queen oh my gosh like seriously she is so stunning let me just pull the camera back so you can have a full view of her can you see this queen like oh my goodness let me just do a quick 360 so you can just see what her dress is about and oh gosh this is she might even be my favorite one out of the three dolls honestly oh wow I was putting off getting this doll for so long and I'm so glad I have her I wasn't even gonna get the one off eBay just because I wasn't sure about her but oh my god I am so glad that I did Okay, so we're gonna start off at her head. So I just need to move the camera up so you can actually see her hair. There we go. So it's done in like a heart shape, which is very nice because it obviously the character is the queen of hearts. And oh, I love it. And then just turn that around so you can see the back. It's very, very gelled and she does have a case of box hair where it's gone really flat at the back, but I don't really mind because I'll only be displaying her from the front anyway. And we're going to take a look at her face. So she has <laughs> this incredible blue eyeshadow. Wow. That's, that just looks amazing. Sort of like a drag queen in a way. And her lips are done in the shape of a heart. And she also has a little beauty mark just below her eye there. Now I'm just going to compare the size of her head with, um, let's say, Alice. Because she's not got such a big dress. Uh, just to see whether the head is actually bigger. And yep, definitely is. It definitely is quite a lot bigger than the other dolls, which is very accurate actually. Now we're gonna take a look at her dress. We're gonna start off with this collar and wow, look at that collar. It's kind of annoying me that one side is a bit more raised than the other, but I'll just have to try my best to fix that. But yeah, it's very nice. And then below the white collar, it has this grey stripey bit of fabric which goes all the way around as well. Now we come to one of the highlights of this doll and that is the bodice. 
gosh, it is so pretty. She has all of these little beads here. So there's red ones, and there's little pearly beads, and underneath the pearly beads there's some gold beads, which I didn't even realize. Wow, that is incredible. And then there's some gold trimming going all around. And then there's some more gold and red trimming going down to the bottom of the bodice. Now her sleeves have got sort of a ripped sort of look to them. And underneath the black there is some red, which honestly just ugh, really makes the bodice area stand out really nicely. And then for her sleeves, they are gold. So yeah, gold fabric. So it's got this um, gold and black sort of fabric. Then it has this other like, tattier looking gold fabric over the top, which I love. Oh my gosh, it looks really good. And then there's some red ribbon going around the arm. And then we go to her hands and she's wearing gold rings, which is very nice, as well as some very dark red nail polish that's going with uh, the white queen as well she also is wearing uh, nail polish as well let me just show you that quickly wherever her hand is there it is so yeah she's also wearing the dark red nail polish you may have noticed that she has something in this hand and that is of course the chronosphere which i'm very happy to have because the other two dolls that i have didn't come with theirs because they were second hand it's very nice that i finally have one since there is only one in the movie, it's more accurate that way, I guess. Now we come to basically the most amazing part of this doll, and that is the skirt. Look at the detail in this skirt. Let me just um, give you a quick 360 of it. She also has a train as well, so these ripped pieces all go out behind her, which... Oh my gosh, it just makes this doll so much better. If she didn't have those pieces, then this doll would just not be very good, I guess. But wow, they really do help. Underneath all of that, we have this dark red skirt. And on the skirt, she has these bl uh, black hearts and they have gold hearts in the middle of each of them. Also, the fabric looks like it's been torn at the bottom as well here. And just zoom in on that. There we go, so you can see that. Also, the fabric is very, it's got a texture to it, so it feels like it's been scrunched up in a little ball and then pulled out again. So it's very scrunched up in a way. Then as for the fabric that actually goes out the back, there's two different types. There's this red, really thin red fabric that goes all the way around. And then underneath that, there is this gold and black fabric, which, oh my gosh, this, I love this fabric. It doesn't really stand out too much on its own, but with the whole color scheme of this dress, it just really helps to complete it honestly and then that also has the sort of ripped look to it which is obviously going with this whole entire doll now i'm just going to show you the shoes very quickly yes i've had to steal my custom made elsa stand <laughs> because none of my other stands would hold her the disney store do a really good job with the movie dolls with their shoes like especially the alice her shoes are amazing let me just show you alice's shoes very quickly just look at the amount of detail on those oh my gosh it's amazing and Erasabeth's shoes are just amazing as well. They are gold and have some black dry painted details on them. And then underneath I noticed that they have little hearts. Look how cute that is. The front of the shoes also have the black hearts as well. So yeah, that is Queen Erasabeth, also known as the Red Queen, all done and reviewed. Now I'm just going to bring over the other two dolls I have in the series, just so I can give my final comments. <laughs> Alice is just sort of staring at the Red Queen quite menacingly there. So out of the lot, I'd oh, it's really difficult, I'd probably say the Red Queen is my favourite, closely followed by the White Queen. It's really difficult because all three of these dolls are really elegantly put together and the designs are just... Oh, they're really nice. And as you know, I do love my Disney dolls, so of course these are going to be some of my favourites out of my whole collection. By the way, I will be doing a Disney Store doll collection very soon because my collection over the last few months has really grown. I need to stop, but I can't. I highly recommend these dolls if you come across them anywhere. 
They are so worth it. They are gorgeous dolls and possibly some of the best the Disney store has ever made. Not including the limited edition dolls, obviously, because those things are incredible. But as for dolls, just standalone dolls, yes, amazing. I highly recommend so if you have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe and make sure to watch my other videos because I do have a ton that I need to edit and upload. There's probably about 10 videos that I've made recently but I just haven't gotten around to uploading them or even editing them. Yeah I've got a lot of stuff coming basically. And thank you so much for watching this video once more, I think I've already said that and uh, yeah, goodbye!